I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is your sign to start that business. It is time. When you receive a calling, when you get that voice that it is time to start and you ignore it, everything in your life will become disrupted until you start the journey of becoming the person you're meant to be. Anyone who's watching this video, I want you to understand that being a business owner is hard. It is hard. But when it is something that you is meant to do on this earth, whatever obstacle comes your way, it will be destroyed. When I first started my brand, it was something that I just woke up and heard within myself and just started. I had no business knowledge. No one in my family owns a business. I've never took a business class. I've never been to college. If I want to be, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't finish school. <laughs> like that sounds crazy coming out of my mouth because a lot of people don't know that about me. I um, stopped going to school in 10th grade because I had my child and then I went to alternative school and I did not finish that alternative school. I did not. I think I went to 11th grade and then I dropped out. But I am now 24. I haven't worked a job since I was 19. And within those jobs that I did have, I never had a job for more than a year. But my last job was 19. I started my business ventures when I was 16. I had a hair care come, I mean a hairline where I sold extensions. That didn't go well. But I didn't stop there. You guys, I've done everything in a book. I've sold lip gloss. I've sold hair extensions. I now, as you guys can see, I have a hair care line. I've sold everything you can think of. Digital marketing, I've done that. YouTube, I'm doing that. Drop shipping, I did that when I sold hair extensions. I've done everything with no knowledge of nothing. No type of knowledge of having any type of knowledge of being a business owner. And I haven't worked a job in six years, okay? I take care of myself greatly. It was one point in time I took care of my whole entire family. I drive a Mercedes. <laughs> I'm, I'm living that life all because I decided to listen to that voice in my head that told me I was meant to be a business owner. If you work a nine to five, you don't have to quit your job to start. Use your job to fulfill the needs of your business because eventually your business will become your nine to five. Actually, as a business owner, you work 24 hours. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing on my mind is business. When I go to sleep, the last thing on my mind is what can I do to make my business better? Okay. If you have a calling, if you feel like you've heard in your head, if you just see signs, if you want to do it, but you're scared, if you want to do it, but you feel like it's not going to work out, if you want to do it, but you feel like you want to focus on your nine to five because you feel like you won't have no income with your business, I don't care what it is. You have to step out on faith and start that business. It is going to be the best thing you have ever done in your life, okay? I'm telling you, start the business. And this video is aimed towards women, but even men. Men are starting to be more comfortable with posting themselves online and making money online. A lot of men feel like it's not masculine to make internet money. But let me tell you, let me tell y'all something. And I'm not trying to burst no one's bubble. I salute the nine to five workers. Everyone is not meant to be a boss. Everyone is not meant to be a business owner. But you will never become a millionaire with the nine to five. You are fulfilling someone else's dreams. When you work at Amazon, you are fulfilling Jeff Bezos' dreams, okay? You are not fulfilling yours. But when you do have that job, you can take that money and invest in your brand and invest in your business, but you will never become a millionaire working for another millionaire, that started in the position of having that thought of a business and they took the actual steps 
regardless of the obstacles, regardless of the money that they needed. When I started my hair care brand, I had less than $200, okay? The first year of my brand was at, well, when I first started, I started in November, 2021. November, I mean, April, 2022, one of my videos on TikTok went viral and I got 11.2 million views as of today on that video. But that video made me $30,000 in 12 minutes on my next restock. Once again, I'm not bashing the people that has a nine to five. But what I'm saying is if you know that you don't belong at that job, you know that you have a higher calling than working in a warehouse. If you know, or if you feel in your soul that you are supposed to be your own boss, I'm telling you, do it. As someone, like I said, I didn't even finish school. I had a child as a teenager. I never went to college. I never had a job over a year. When I think about my life, y'all, I think it's just crazy. Like, I, <laughs> when I think about my life, like, I've really been through a lot to be where I'm at today. A lot of girls, for one, as teenage moms, never make the money or touch the money I've ever touched. A lot of teenage moms struggle, okay? Luckily, I had a, a very supportive family. But the obstacles that I've been through and I still decided to listen to my inner self, the voice that told me to step out, of, out on faith and start that business. And even with starting my first business, I've started three or four businesses on after that one. I still have other sources of income that I receive. Like I said, digital marketing, YouTube. I promote my brand on Instagram. I promote my brand on TikTok. I make money through um, Instagram Reels. They pay you to post Reels. I used to do drop shipping. I do it all. And I do it because it was something that was meant for me to do. I had no knowledge on this stuff, you guys. I've never had a mentor. I've never had a business lawyer. I've never went to college. I never took a major up in business. This was all in me already. But a lot of people have this in them, but they don't take action on what they are called for. And it, honestly, it don't even have to be business. A lot of you guys today sit and dwell in your thoughts, sit and dwell on your dreams, and you have so much lack of, of confidence in it that you just let it pass you by. Don't be that person that lets your dreams pass you by. Don't be that person that wakes up and realize they have no more time and realize that they could have been a millionaire. They could have been living in their purpose. Be that person that starts right now. It's never a perfect time to start. The time to start is now. Don't say, okay, I'm going to write my ideas out tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to start next week. Okay, I'm going to start saving next month. Start now. Start with no money. Start with no direction. Start with no plan. Start with no support. A lot of my, my customers that buy from my brand, they, are not, they aren't even in my hometown. They're not even in my state, really. <laughs> like, I'm telling y'all, start. Don't wait. Don't plan. Don't do nothing. It is never enough time to plan. It is never enough time to start. Just start where you are and you and your inner self will lead you to where you need to be. As someone like me, I just described to y'all my life. If you if some if someone tells you what I just told you, you would have never thought they would be a business owner and a successful one on top of that. Okay? Take it from my Jira. I got stuff in my head take it from my Jira Alexius and start okay and when you start watch how everything just falls into place and when you realize that you're now walking in your purpose I want you to think of me because I told you so okay but just get up and start today start right now start after this video now